So Jane says, hold it. What does being rich financially got to do with a woman's worth? It doesn't have anything to do with a woman's worth. In fact, we talked about this in another video where a woman was asking about this. Not only does it have nothing to do with your worth, it doesn't have anything to do with your worth to a man either. I, it, what I was saying was just giving an analogy, right? If you believe that you're poor, if you believe that you should be poor, if you believe that in your mind you believe in being poor, in scarcity, then you're not going to have abundance. You're not going to have wealth. It's, you're not going to be able to hold on to it. So it's not that your worth is connected to that. It's that it's the same thing. If you believe that you're poor in your mind, in your heart, you believe that you're not valuable, then other people aren't going to see your value either. It's something that I call the law of belief transference. And what it says is that whoever holds the strongest belief about something transfers that belief to the people around them. So if you're around a guy and you believe that you're not really worthy of him and being around him, what's going to end up happening is he's going to start believing that as well over time because you're going to start projecting that out to him and your behavior is going to act in a way that shows him that you don't believe that you're really worth it or that you're really valuable or that you really deserve him. And so you have to believe in your mind that you're really valuable and that you're a goddess and that you're a queen and that you deserve to be treated well. And once you start believing that, that's when it's a lot easier to keep a guy who also treats you that way because he won't, it won't change his mind, right? If, if, if he believes that you're worthy, but you don't, you'll eventually convince him that you're not. And he'll eventually want to leave and walk away because he doesn't feel it anymore. And he, he'll start taking you for granted. He'll start feeling like he needs some space. You'll start smothering him and he'll want to get away from you. Whereas if you think that you're worthy, you won't do the things that women do who think that they're not worthy. Things like trying to prove themselves, things like trying to convince a man that you're right for each other, things like smothering him and asking him if he's okay and do you really love me and baiting him for compliments all the time and those kinds of things. That, that kind of behavior will drive a man out of your life faster than anything else. And that's why you have to believe it. Right? So it's not about being financially rich. It's about believing that you're rich, that you're valuable, that you're worthy.